The second generation Honda HRV is arriving soon, and by the time you're done this video, I'm hoping you'll know exactly how big it is. We'll be comparing key dimensions and measurements to the first generation machine, as well as some other popular crossovers to help prospective shoppers size it up. So let's start with a recap of the first generation model, and after two separate test drives and several thousand kilometers of real life use, I found this machine ticked a lot of boxes that are important to me. Its highly canine friendly load and height and easy walk through access can accommodate just about any size or age of dog. It's also a highly competent winter driving machine, handles nicely, and has a highly flexible cabin with some rear seat magic tricks that add plenty of clever versatility. I do hope the latest HRV addresses a few issues I noted as well, specifically the very fiddly cup holders. Honda's punched up the HRV's size for the second generation machine. It's longer and wider, which they say gives it one of the biggest cargo capacities in its class, as well as more rear seat legroom than the first generation unit. The new HRV's 2,655mm wheelbase adds 45mm between the wheels compared to the first generation HRV's 2,610mm wheelbase. On overall length, the 2023 HRV measures in at 4,568mm, or 209mm longer than its predecessor. The new HRV is 1,620mm tall, a 15mm increase from its predecessor's height of 1,605. Passenger volume improves accordingly for 2023 with up to 2,794 liters of interior volume for the latest HRV versus 2,721 for the first generation machine. That's an improvement of 73 liters or about half the trunk space of a Mazda MX-5. On headroom, the new HRV measures in with 976 millimeters up front and 964 in the rear, improvements of 21 and 9 millimeters respectively when comparing models with the sunroof. You'll find 1,064 millimeters of front seat legroom in the 2023 HRV, an increase of 17 millimeters from its predecessor. Shoulder room is down 5 millimeters in the front seats but grows by 18 millimeters in the rear, and overall, the 2023 HRV's track width, or distance between two wheels on the same axle, is increased by about 55mm up front and 64 in the rear. The new wider body swallows it all up, its overall width now clocks in 70mm wider than the first generation machine, at 2089mm including the mirrors. When comparing all-wheel drive equipped models, the new HRV weighs in at 1431kg or 78 heavier than the first generation car. The HRV's new engine produces 158 horsepower, that's an increase of 17, and despite the additional size, weight, and output, the average fuel consumption of all-wheel drive equipped models is rated at 8.7 liters per 100 clicks. That's just a tick more than the combined rating of the first generation machine, which came in at 8.5. So assuming an annual distance driven of 25,000 kilometers and a fuel price of 2 bucks per liter, the bigger second generation HRV will tend to use about $134 per year more fuel than the first generation machine. There are several notable competitors, including the Toyota Corolla Cross, which is smaller and more powerful, offers similar cargo volume, more headroom and front seat legroom, and notably better fuel economy from the standard engine with hybrid power on the way. At this writing, the HRV only offers a standard gasoline engine, no hybrid option yet. The Subaru Crosstrek totals 33 liters less passenger volume than the new HRV, with the Honda boasting a 21 mm advantage in front seat headroom and a 4 mm advantage in rear seat headroom versus the Subaru. The Crosstrek serves up 31 mm more front seat legroom, though the HRV takes the win and seats up cargo volume, with a full 100 liter advantage in this category. Compared to its big brother, the Honda CRV, the 2023 HRV is just 18 mm shorter in length, with the CRV towering some 69 mm above its smaller sibling. This shows up in the cargo volume figures. The HRV will hold up to 1,559 liters of your stuff, though the CRV bumps that figure to 2,146, an advantage of 587 liters. So to help you visualize exactly how big this car is, the two closest competitors I could find included the Volkswagen ID4 and Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross, both of which are within a centimeter or two of the HRV where major dimensions are concerned. Or put another way, it's about 32 millimeters shorter than a Toyota RAV4 and just a little taller than a Jeep Compass. The new HRV is built on a Civic based platform, and its new look and dimensions come alongside an underlying recipe that's remained largely the same, specifically by blending good fuel economy, plenty of space, and plenty of flexibility into a handy package that's easy to live with. 
If you're a current HRV fan looking for a bit of an upgrade or upsize, this new model is built to do the trick. It's one of many fresh and compelling new choices in a rapidly growing segment. Canadian pricing from the high 20s in front-wheel drive, with all-wheel drive equipped units coming in from the low 30s. If you like that video, we've got lots more like it. Consider hitting the subscribe button down below so you never miss a new upload, and hitting that like button if you learned something new. My name's Justin Pritchard for Driving.ca, and until next time, take care and drive safe.